check for advanced restart button it's available go to recovery if you don't have that use the power button and volume plus button to boot into recovery for the links for this latest firmware and also this TWRP recovery you can check out my community section in my channel there you will get these links you can download it without any problem here we go this is the latest version available for POCO X3 TWRP go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it done go to home section and second select the install button and select the micro sd card wherever you downloaded the rom zip file first flash the firmware always go to firmware 12.5.5 surya global latest firmware available for poco x3 it takes a little bit of time done go to home section and again install and select the rom zip file here Pixel Experience 2022-228. This is the latest available build. You can see here with fifth February security patch and the latest available build of 28th February. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM. Wait until it gets flashed. As you can see, ROM zip file has been flashed successfully go to home section and select here wipe and again select the format data and type here y y e s and type here tick button done go to reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method stay tuned till the end of the video such that i will be explaining everything in detail about this pixel experience new build on this poco x3 and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and by the way the smartphone booted into pixel experience let's begin this video Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys it's Sampath you're watching Sampath Sanfx POCO X3 custom ROM reviews and this is a pixel experience ROM for POCO X3 latest build available with 2022 second I mean February 28 latest build available with kernel used here is 4.14.198 LAUM 9R1R1160 SMXSS O.O Surya the kernel has been used and Android security update I mean the security patches fifth security 2022 and Android 12 here and I've been running the CP throttling test from last five minutes and five seconds milliseconds you can see here the maximum is 159 and average is 151 and minimum is 131 and CP throttle to 92 percent of its maximum performance you can see here it's really good and during my flashing it was 100 percent and now it's 90 percent you can note that also and uh, regarding the dialer you get basic google dialer let's increase the volume a little bit okay you will get direct video call feature available in this rom let's see call recording there is no call recording feature in this rom and coming to homes and styles like widgets yes you get widgets of clocks here and a tall style as you can see drag and drop here if you want you can choose the different types of presets and you can even adjust them also this is how the cool widgets are working fine coming to wallpapers and style i will get all the and tall wallpapers with including living universe and bloom those are given basic colors are given dark theme is given themed icon is given upgrade is from 2 into 2 to 5 into 5 is available this is how the pixel experience rom pixel launcher and the app drawer you get like this coming to apps let's start with geekbench scores single score is 507 and multi score is 1665 and kernel as i said before also linux 4.14.198 LAUM in 91 r1 11600 
SM triple X 0.0 Surya kernel has been used and scores are okay single score could have been 600 like that but this other scores coming to enter the benchmark results here it's very good score of 3 lakh 58,000 and temperature rise is just 0.8 degree Celsius and 3 percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this enter the benchmark result testing it's really good and you will get a Gcam port here with 8.4 no need to manually install that whenever you flash the ROM you will get direct this Gcam port let's see this is the Gcam available 8.4.3 this is the Gcam will get directly font you can use any other Gcam ports and regarding ANX camera many people are commenting down below if anyone knows how to flash the ANX camera in under 12 build ROMs you can DM me in Insta I will, such that I will can make the video regarding that also I hope that will come soon and into speed test you will get I have here like 100 MPS plan Geo Giga Fiber Wi-Fi connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 MPS which is pretty good even with mobile data also it's working fine no problem regarding Wi-Fi connection mobile internet connection and earpiece problem like that I don't have such problems in my ROM I mean in this pixel experience ROM and carrier aggregation is also working fine no problem regarding all those things coming into DRM info here also you will get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the audit applications in HD resolution no problem regarding that also coming into safety net status here also it get passed you can use all the payment applications like Paytm, PhonePay, Google Pay whatever it is you can use those things it will be working fine no problem regarding that also and let's move into setting before that let me show you the quick settings panel this is how the quick settings panel you get there are options like this and if you want you can edit some of the options are pre-included here there is no sync option that I am noticing from long time I don't know why it's not available that's how it is and coming into settings panel you get apps here you can choose the default apps from here if you want to use any phone app like it's phone app if you want to make it true color as a default app you can change it even browser you want to use some other browser you can change from here like this and game settings this is a basic one gaming mode simple gaming mode of pixel experience rom assistant screen time and use app special app access all those things are included and coming to battle if it's you can see here it's just now fallen one percent from last five minutes i've been explaining with full screen brightness very very good many people ask about which is the good ROM for battery life I can say this is the one of the best ROM for good battery life it will not record for some reason I don't know for first boot after some times it get recorded and this is how the pixel experience ROM and you will get all the options like extreme battery saver is also given you can choose the essential apps and whenever you want to use then you can use those things and you can schedule the battery saver and extreme battery saver also adaptive brightness is given uh, sorry preferences are given here in this ROM optimization profiles are also included Con notifications you get bubbles feature conversation and print of options enhanced notification blink light notification dot on app icon allow notifications using hide silent notification status bar those things you can enable or disable from here do not disturb mode is also available you can choose the apps and alarm you can fix from there skip lock screen sensitive notifications allow face unlock on lock screen these also you can change from here these are the basic settings and storage you get regarding google photos i am speaking you will get unlimited storage of google photos you can use unlimited storage coming into display you get all the adaptive brightness is given it's also working find lock scene settings you get plenty of options here screen timeout you can choose from 15 seconds to 30 minutes and dark theme is given but it's not pitch black condition if you want that previous roms have that like derp faced cr droid or some other roms have that i hope in pixel experience plus rom at least they add the themes i mean the presets to have the dark theme like pitch black or dark gray scale whatever it is few people like pitch black conditions like me if you like the same hit that like button and if you are first time to this channel hit the subscribe button down below guys many people may watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel hit that subscribe button and if you like the video give it a like and coming into display size you get all these options 
basic things and colors you get night light feature here and colors you can keep to boost a natural saturated and adapt based upon your lighting smooth display is given if you enable this automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 h for some content increases battery usage tap to wake is given refresh rate per app is added and lcd features are also included in this rom and i kept to that smooth display there is a minimum refresh rate and maximum refresh rate and preferred refresh rate now you will get like this options maybe in pixel experience like that and let's move into other settings wallpaper and style i explained and accessibility menu it's given it's an handy feature i will be explaining it out every rom if it is available like just toggle this and get a option to increase the volume and even brightness also increase decrease you can do that and recent apps locks in power button accessibility settings you can wake the assistant quick settings you can directly jump there and notifications you can toggle from here you can directly take the screenshot this is an handy feature to have in a and at all usb type of roms you can just toggle and use that i will disable for now and the print of options like vibration and haptics you can choose from ring vibration notification vibration touch feedback from here live transcribe live caption caption prefer all the under tool features are included in this room are also working fine no problem regarding that and coming into security options you get face unlock fingerprint unlock now in the pixel experience room in the previous builds they added the face unlock which is working fine i will be showing it out right now let's see as you can see it's very very fast now let me show you the fingerprint on as you can see the fingerprint unlock is also very quick enough to unlock your smartphone using this pixel experience room which is fine in my opinion and coming to some other settings you can see here into system go into gestures and system navigation button there is no options just you get left edge and right edge sensitivity and swipe to invoke the assistant these are the options you get nothing more than that if you want you can keep three button and two button navigation and press and hold power button is given prevent ringing you can enable or disable from here these are the options you get in this rom i hope i explained everything let's see the bgma gameplay and what all the graphic settings we get in this particular rom and this how the volume is set to 70 to 80 percent and let's go into settings and see the graphics smooth plus ultra is the maximum you get and you can live see here fps in the game mode you can have these options let's see how is the gameplay it's fine definitely playable but 60 fps is very good Okay. Okay, I will come back. You can see the FPS count here. It's fine, definitely playable. The ROM is also fine. Let's see the charging animation and that wobbling effect. This is how you get that charging animation whenever you plug the charger as you can see and whenever you unlock also it's fine enough now the implementation of that gcam port it's also working fine as you can see even video also i tested it out it's work fine and it have 
many other features also and now dark theme is little bit um, annoying but overall it's in very good rom many people are using it out and that's all guys in this video if you like the video give it a like and thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now